back at it with another two face reacts. I heard about this this case. Well, I don't know if it's the case or not, but I heard about this TikToker alleged shooting. I don't know. I heard it's a toxic couple. And, you know, it's weird because it's always the people that share their personal life on the internet, right? And it's always something bad bound to happen either one of them is getting beaten on harassed etc you know i ain't gonna go all in the details but y'all know what i mean they just i just find it funny the people that post their relationship status relationship life or any of their business on social media it's bound to be the opposite they can look like they're the happiest couple even in even on their best picture them smiling together that doesn't mean that they love each other doesn't mean that they're happy which i heard one of them shot each other i don't know uh we're gonna get into this reaction a popular tiktoker documents his life and relationship with his girlfriend you want to marry me yeah are you are you asking me to marry you right now you gonna marry me yes we're married okay i'm just playing though i never married that side <laughs> Damn, he just respectful. That man is going in on him, bro. He does not care talking about. I'm just playing. I ain't marrying your sorry ass. I'm sorry when people low key insult you like that. They low key mean it. He said he ain't gonna marry her sorry ass, bro. You see how her demeanor changed? That's disrespectful. She probably is a good girl. She probably is. Then again, I don't know. <laughs> I love you though. Later. I love you. Later. I like to wake up in the morning, roll up and look at you and be like, damn. But now he's behind bars, accused of shooting her in the face. Talking about he love her, but why you behind bars, bro? Why you behind bars, bro? You a sick dude. That's crazy how you talking about you ain't gonna marry her. Sorry. Yeah, I believe you. I definitely believe you. I for sure believe you. Shot your own girlfriend in the face. I would have married her. It's crazy. Good girls be around bad guys like this. I, I, I don't know if she was a good girl, a good woman. You know, I'm just speculating. I'm just assuming in my head that she was good. But then again, you you don't know what kind of shit she done in the dark, too. You know, it's always that. It's always that view or point that that point of view you got to look at, too. So when we look at that, that individual, uh, those individuals in the social media post, they post in the highlights of what's going on. Oh, we're happy here. Look at all the tattoos he got. He got a whole fucking paragraph in his damn chest. That's damn. That's some commitment. I'm sorry. You can't trust people with tattoos like that. Write a whole paragraph, right? Like loyal on a like chest. I don't know. She got a couple of tattoos too, but she looked good with her tattoos though. She ain't got too many of them. But I don't think a person should go overboard and tap the whole like sleeve up and shit. We're going on dates and dating. You just know what's going on behind the scenes. Ladarius Brownlee, known online as Dino, chronicled his romantic life and relationship with his girlfriend, Saida Hashimi. She looks thick. I ain't gonna lie. God damn, she is thick as hell. Jesus Christ, bro. She born in 1996. So she is 26. No, no, she is 27, 27 years old. Because I'm born in 2000. Now she gotta be 27, 28. 27, 28. She looked good though. I Don't spanked that. God damn. The duo under the username of Dino and Zara <laughs> raised more than 150,000 followers on TikTok, and some of their videos massed millions of views. While the two appeared as a doting couple, trouble was brewing behind the scenes, as investigators say a heated argument after a holiday celebration would lead to tragedy. According to the Flower Mound Police Department, the shooting stemmed from a heated argument as the couple were walking home from a 4th of July Independence Fest held in a local park. The fight reportedly turned physical. Then they got into their car, driving less than three miles away from the park. When Brownlee stopped the car, he pulled out a tanned Glock firearm from the driver's door pocket and allegedly shot Zara in the face. Mm, God damn, bro. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. She's fine. I don't know if she's white. No, I'm going to take it back. I don't think she's white. I mean, she obviously is white, but I don't think she's American, in my opinion. Because, you know, like white, regular Americans, they look like, you know, regular white people. But I'm assuming I'm just, it's just a long shot Latina. I don't know. She looked different. She don't look like a regular white female, though. Love her right if she's white, she would definitely look like a regular white female. Such as that. She thick as hell. Look. Damn, she it's going to be just astounding to where you are just taken aback that any person can be charged with such a heinous crime. That is something that is definitely intentional 
Um, so there's nothing that we could say that wouldn't be intentional about that action. And so <clears throat> it's, it's definitely something that takes me off guard. When officers arrived at the scene, they discovered the 28 year old lying on the ground outside of the car. She's 28. She's 28. 27, 28. I was right. I was right. I was for sure she was 27, but Loki, I was wrong because I was, I knew she was like older than me. I, I just hit 24. By the way, guys, uh, two days ago was my birthday, July 19th. So, um, wish me a happy birthday, but I didn't celebrate because I don't really ain't got nothing to celebrate until I get successful. Then I start celebrating my shit, you know, but it's grinding season though. So yeah, riding will stop. But yeah, she was 28. She fine. See, I wouldn't mind marrying, being with a female that's close to 30 because I'm a grown man. I'm, a, I'm 24 years. I'm a grown ass man. I don't mind that. It's all about finding the one that love you and you love her, you know? Brownie Shit. Was still on the scene I'm when married. officers arrived and arrested without incident. Shooting someone really at any point is something that takes a, a lot of gumption from any person, right? But when you are right at the person's face, you're seeing them eye to eye, having eye contact, um, that takes more than anything in the world. Again, we go back to intentionality uh, with something like that. And so this individual in this particular case was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I'm surprised it wasn't, he wasn't charged with attempted murder, um, honestly. Technically, it is attempted murder because you tried to delete the female. You pulled out a piece and you tried to pop her. That's literally what you tried to do. And it looks like she was, you know, hitting him back, trying to get away from him. I don't know. Maybe she hit him first. Who knows? She probably did hit him first and he, you know, retaliated, took out a piece and popped him. I really don't know who did what first. I only thing I know is he's getting accused of pulling out a piece and now he's in jail. But who knows whose fault it is, who's at fault. So only time will tell. It's just that it rises to that level, and I wouldn't be surprised if they increase it to that charge. Texas-based criminal defense attorney Bridget Williams explains he now faces a lengthy sentence behind bars. If he's convicted of the aggravated assault with a deadly weapon because there's a dating relationship, then again, that makes it a first degree felony. And so he could be facing anywhere between no less than five years in prison, no more than 99 years in prison. Damn, no more than five years, no more than 99 years. That's 100 years, bro. That's all your life gone, to be real. Even if you live throughout that whole time, what do you have left to live for? You be on your deathbed. You, you want to be on your deathbed as an inmate. I'm going to be real with you. You really going to be dead in that jail cell. You're going to literally die. I'm, I'm shit, You probably ain't going to get no parole or nothing. I'm sorry, bro. You messed your life up. See, you can't lash out on a female especially a white female because your sentence is going to increase a lot more when i mean increase i mean four or five times as much let's say let's say a white do assault his white girlfriend right he's gonna get you know sentence he's gonna get the bare minimum he's gonna get 15 20 years i don't know i know i'm just i'm just uh guessing speculating you know but if a uh if a black guy i'm black so i can talk i can say this i i, I can have these conversations i i can't get canceled so i'm black like i said anyways a black dude put his hands on a female any type of violence done a black man so and a white female beating a wife or girlfriend up, white girlfriend, white wife, whatever, they're going to get the maximum sentence. Talking about 50 plus years, 99 to 100 years in prison. Matter of fact, they're going to put as many years as possible to make sure you never get out. I'm sorry, like you can't. See, it's a risk dating a white female. It's a risk being around those kind of people. I'm sorry, I hate to say it like that. It's just the truth. Me personally, I don't want to be around somebody that's going to get me locked up, which I never put my hands on a female. Hopefully it never comes to that. If anything, I'm going to be recorded because these white females, I'm sorry. They will get you locked up. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. And not only that, I ain't messing with them. I know any female can low-key get you locked up, can put you in a bad circumstance, a, a bad situation, but the worst when it comes to white females. Don't get me started on a white bitch with a blonde hair. Oh my God. Stay away from those. Stay away from people like that. When they use your skin color as a disadvantage, get away from them. Because you know how racist this world is. So you got to stay away from white people a lot. Just to be real. 
Um, and so if he's, he's facing that, then it would definitely be a first degree felony charge. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he maybe even takes a plea agreement on something like this because he's given two confessions, I believe, one in an, in an 911 call and then also to investigators at a later time. Zara was rushed to the hospital after. Damn, bro, she got a fat dump, man. She got a fat dump. She look good. Oh, my God. Mm -mm -mm. God damn, she is fine. She got a big ass, bro. I swear to God. I slapped that. Why would females like her go out with guys like him? She got to be toxic, too. She got to be one of those hoes that love a person that beats on her, cheat on her. Obviously, she's one of those females that rather be around that kind of dude, that kind of person. So you got to look at that point of view, too. You got to not only look at a different point of view, but you got to call her out, too, because why would you put yourself around that person to the point where you can get hurt when you have multiple red flags seen in that dude that's willing to hurt you or she probably provoked him never know but either way they're both toxic so stay away from both of them especially her she looked good though shooting as she sustained life-threatening injuries and at this time her condition is unclear but a police spokesperson would tell wfaa in texas she'll likely remain in the hospital for quite some time Jail records show Brownlee faces charges including aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and deadly conduct discharging a firearm. But Williams explains those charges could change if Zara's condition takes a turn for the worst. Whenever a person is charged immediately, sometimes the police department will charge the person with something that they know that they can prove. In this particular instance, the person is being charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Okay, we know that he assaulted her. It was aggravated because there was a weapon that was involved. It's a deadly weapon. That's a pretty much um, straightforward case there, right? And in normally that case is, that charge is gonna be a second degree felony. However, when there is a dating relationship or a family type of relationship that's involved, it enhances that charge to a first degree felony. So aggravated assault with a deadly weapon with a dating relationship, now he's being charged with a first degree felony. Um, and then in addition to that, the discharge of a firearm within a municipality, that is a, a misdemeanor case in, in Texas. And so um, he has two charges right now. Now, however, I do not, uh, I would not be surprised if they increase that charge to attempted murder if this young lady survives, if she passes away. Well, technically it is attempted murder because he actually shot her point blank range in the face. He was trying to delete her. So obviously it is attempted murder. Popping someone, when you pulling your piece out and, and trying to pop somebody, you're trying to delete them, get rid of them. It's not just hurting someone. You're trying to really get them off this earth. So obviously you are trying to, he's trying to delete her. He's trying to delete that person. I'm sorry. That's just the truth. You try to get rid of her. You don't love her. He probably, he probably loved banging her. He probably loved the benefits that he gets from her, but he doesn't love her. He just told her everything that she needed to know and she should have left. That's her fault. Because if you don't notice the red signs, if he, if she was constantly getting beaten on by this dude, she should have been left. That's on her at the, at the same time because she got to take accountability. Are you willing to put yourself around an abusive person to the point where you can actually die? You can get yourself killed. And you, you got nobody to blame but yourself because only you can change that circumstances, that situation. Only you can save yourself from that situation. Should have been filed a restraining order, moved to a different country. Don't share your location where you already moved that because obviously if he's that crazy, he may try to find you and do the same shit all over again. But, you know, just trying to be real. Charged with murder. In Texas, we, we only have first degree murder. Then we also have like manslaughter and then things of that nature go and go down from there. But here it's murder. And if this particular person is charged with murder, then his punishment range could be anywhere from no less than five. Five years up to 99 years in prison. The punishment range is the same, even though on the aggravated assault with a deadly weapon with the dating relationship, it's all a, a first degree felony case. So either way, He's facing a first-degree murder charge. It's just a different charge if she passes away, it would be murder. 
Brownlee reportedly confessed to the shooting on a 911 call and again to investigators. And since he stayed on the scene after the shooting and didn't flee, Williams says it's possible that could help his case. I am a little surprised that he stayed at the scene and that he gave a confession on the 911 call because that's immediately, right? So that's in the heat of the moment when everything is going on. You gave a confession immediately right off the 911 call saying this is what happened. Um, now, I don't know if he says, well, maybe she launched. Now, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. She looking fine as hell. Jesus Christ, she look fine. You know, that's a, that's a goddamn woman. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, she is fine. She got a damn dump on her. She got rats too. Thick too. Oh my God. Don't know if she's a good female, a good girl or not. Obviously, most girls that look like that ain't worth shit. Ain't worth talking to. Definitely probably not a good girl. Oh well, she just looked good. She looked nice. Hey, she... Hey, it's nice looking at her, though. That's all I got to say. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know what happened prior to that happening, um, but mm -hmm. all he knows is that he gives a confession on the 911 call. Now, does it, is it helpful for his case? It may be helpful for his case and that he stayed when we talk about negotiations and mitigating, saying that he didn't run away from it. He takes responsibility for it fully, right? And that may mean that he knows that he may need help right? Um, and he's not running away from the responsibility. So that could be helpful in mitigating the circumstances and mitigating the punishment whenever we're negotiating with the prosecution on his behalf. Um, so I feel like that would be helpful. Uh, but as far as the charge for him, the charge is going to be the same. We'll just go back to that discovery to determine if all of his rights were given to him at the time of giving those confessions um, and was that something that can be admitted into evidence. With the two previously chronicling their lives on social media. This is why I hate going shopping with them. <laughs> My wife wanna, my wife wanna stop at every stand, every store, try all the test foods in the food court. Shit, ain't nothing wrong with that. She probably love to eat. She a big girl. She love to eat. And I'll probably do the same thing too, to be honest with you. I'm gonna stop at every stop, every stop, every stop. I'm talking about every last one of them. No, I'm never taking you shopping again. Yeah. I'm not taking you shopping no more. Show them what you got. Then motherfucker come here and get out of the goddamn Christmas tree. Like, man, when I ain't got this damn Christmas tree for my room. Gonna make me mad. I am never Christmas. going with you anywhere again because you do not let me buy what I want to buy. Because you just be spending money on nothing. Because I'm over here trying to shop and make the house cute. And just shopping right here. She ain't nothing wrong with that. This sounds like, she sounds like a regular female. I'm not calling her a regular, you know, off of looks. She don't look like a regular female when it turns to look. She look like a goddamn fucking model. But that's besides the point. But her, like, how she live her life, she want to make her, like, she talking about she want to buy things to make her house look good. See, that's a housewife. That's a real housewife right there. I think she's one of the good ones. I don't know. It's, I think because a, a house, a real female, of course, they want to make the house look good. They want to make the house look nice. Don't want to buy things like, you know, silly things that you may think you don't like, that you don't think is silly, but it makes her happy. You might as well let her go on and do that, man. Like, I can't believe you shot a good woman, a good girl. Oh, my God. I would... See, I don't know, man. I guess the uh, pretty ones, pretty toxic ones love to be around that, that type of shit. I don't know. I guess nice guys do finish last, but hey, technically, if you think about it, I'm still alive and she's not. So you want to take that nice guy finish last to her to your grave, technically, because she's she's not alive. Wait, I heard. Wait, no, no. They said that she is alive, but she could die from the shot injury. So it's a 50 50 chance. So I wonder, guys, comment in the chat. If she's going to take him back and still be with him, which is, she's really stupid. If you guys find out that she is, please send me the link 
for that video on my uh i guess you can say instagram because i got the same name like two-faced legion and all that or either that send me send it to it on my on, on the comments i'm not going to vi I'm not going to end the video or nothing. I'm just saying, like, send it to me so I can see it, so I can react to it, so, you know, keep this shit going. I really hope she don't go back to this dude. If she does, she's stupid. Or if she survives, she realized, you know, had a wake-up call. I'm never being around this person again and really means it and stand on business and getting away from him. I respect that. But sometimes she can get away from him just to be around another abuser. You got that, too. Williams explains their online personas might not have shown the full extent of their relationship, mm. as witnesses would tell investigators. God damn, well, what she was getting on that counter like that for? She looking good. Jesus Christ, that champion shirt. Oh, my God. I love the champion brand, by the way. I love it. Jesus Christ. I don't know if she got on sweatpants. God, she, she is fine as fuck. I'm going to keep it, but Jesus Christ. But, but, uh. Just because you see them have fun making like jokes, does that, that doesn't mean it's all fun and games in real life. They probably are just seem like they're having fun, but really they probably hate each other. He could be a toxic abuser, she could be a toxic abuser, or they both are. The two have been verbally and physically violent in the past. I think you hit that right on the news. So they toxic. So they both toxic. I was right. They was both toxic. They are a toxic couple. So she can't really complain. At the situation she's in now, because that's her fault. She she wanted to be a man like that. You get what you get, right? Hey, be careful what you wish Social for. Social media is such a highlight reel of everyone's life, and I, I, sometimes it's very difficult for several people, millennials, Gen Z, Gen Alpha, when they're looking at social media to compare our lives to things that are going on in social media. Um, but when we look at that, that individual, uh, those individuals in the social media posts, they post again the highlights of what's going on. Oh, we're happy here. We're, we're going on dates and doing things of that nature. And you just don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I think there was um, some other witnesses who testified that they are not testified, but talked about that the couple had um, previous history of having frequent arguments. Um, but those are not the things that you see. Get the Miracle 2-in-1 Powder Puff by Real Techniques. It's one puff designed with two sides. See on social media, you see the highlights, you see the parts where we're in love um, and happy. And so sometimes it's very difficult for people to make sure they separate that and you don't know exactly what's going on on social media. At this time, Brownlee remains behind bars with a more than half a million dollar bond. Oh my God, he is a social media influencer. That makes it worse because he's behind bars with a half a million dollar bond. A half a million dollar bond. She's going to be stupid enough to bond this motherfucker out. As soon as she heal up a little bit. She gonna drop a five. She gonna drop five hundred k just to bail them out. Half a million dollars. Well, they are like influencers, so I'm pretty sure she's making tons of money too. Technically, it's like his account or her account. She's gonna bond that nigga out. She is gonna bond him out. She is going to bond him out for no reason. If she does this, if she does this, she's stupid. They're meant for each other. She's she's dumb. I I bet you my my I bet you that she will bail this man out that she will take him back because I know how stupid people are I know stupid people when I see one especially when I know enough about somebody that's willing to take someone back after they've been hit beat on spit on cheated on lied on because that's the type of person they are too to be with that person that's hurting them misery need company and it was another saying too. I just forgot. I was trying to uh, think about it so I can say it. But you know, birds of a feather flock together. So you know, that's on her. That's her fault. Her problem. Gotta leave those people alone. 
whenever a judge takes into consideration giving bond a case, they take into multiple multiple factors into consideration. Is the person a flight risk? Do they have the means to become a flight risk? Does he have the means to escape and go to another country or something like that, right? Um, is he a danger to himself and others? He is a danger to himself and others. He is being charged with the heinous crime of shooting another person in the face, right? Um, does he have any community ties? So does he have any people Okay, she's white, right? Uh, remember, okay, when I said uh, she might be stupid enough to bail him out, what if she's racist? She probably won't, but uh, then again, she's stupid. So. Can be supportive of that. And then lastly, does he have the means in order to um, post the bond? So there are multiple things that go into consideration uh, when a judge is giving a person a bond and for that amount that the judge considers to give as well. I am not surprised at all that the amount is what it is. It is excessive, but this is an excessive offense that he's being charged with. And like we talked about before, whenever a person, he has a, uh, I would say the uh, danger to himself and others, then that is something that it, it meets that, that, that burden. It meets the, the charge. And even if Zara survives the horrific shooting, it'll be up to prosecutors to determine if Brownlee's charges will get upgraded. In our mm. cases, Wait, they already got nine, 99 years to beat. Like, so it's up to the prosecutors to upgrade those charges? Damn, shit. <laughs> he put himself in a pickle. I'm sorry, buddy. That's your fault anyways. It really is your fault at the end of the day. But she's she's a toxic person too so you guys are meant for each other turns out which it ain't my problem but uh anyways yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction video i'll catch you guys in the next one